Hey guys, today in this two minute tip, I'm gonna show you how to trigger automations in your CodaDoc when a new column is created or a new row is created. So uh, first let's head up to our automations that's are in the cog wheel at the top right, automations. And we're gonna create a rule uh, called create new row. Turn it on. Uh, currently our triggers are only row changed, time-based and webhook invoked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use row changed to mimic row created. And what we're gonna do is set it on our target table uh, nope, trigger table. Trigger table is what we want to trigger. Not any editable column. What you're going to do is you're going to set it on a hidden trigger column that you create. So we'll do that. And now the trick with this column is to keep it editable. It can be text. It can be a number. But it needs to have a new value inputted every time a row is created. So I'm going to go to text options. And in this value for new rows, it's normally blank. You're going to put something. doesn't matter what you put. We'll put trigger. All right. And now we're going to define our action we want to happen. You can define any action or any cascading set of actions you want. I'm going to just say add a row to target table. All right, and it's on. So let's try this out now. I'm going to add a new row here to my trigger table. It adds the word trigger, and that fact alone is going to add a new row to our gray column below. Uh, Coda automations take a second. They get hit at Coda servers, so we'll see how long this takes. But there it is. There's number two. We'll do it one more time. Trigger. And in just a few seconds, we should see a third row created. In the meantime, you're also going to keep this hidden, though, because no one needs to edit this. No one needs to see it. It's used solely for the purpose of triggering automation. So I'm going to hide that. And in a moment, we should see our third row created. There it is. There's our third row. And we can see up here that we indeed did trigger the activity in this row. And that's how you mimic a row created automation trigger encoder. Thanks guys.